Hello, everybody. My name is Professor Kale Keegan, and this is a short course tour video to familiarize you with some of the basic information about our class, which is called Intro to LGBTQ Studies. Uh, this is a course offered at the introductory level in the Women, Gender, and Sexuality Studies unit, and I'm going to talk a bit in a minute about some of the major learning objectives attached to the course. Um, and then I'll walk you through some of the key features of our Blackboard site, which we're going to be using to interface with content and one another. Um, so just a quick uh, few details about me. My name is Dr. Kale Keegan. Um, I am an associate professor of WGSS and Integrative Studies here at Grand Valley State University. I have a PhD in American Studies from the University at Buffalo with specializations in LGBTQ cultures and um, movement histories. It's my seventh year at GVSU this year. And a few details about me. Um, I am a PlayStation gamer and I also love cats. Um, so if you're an Xbox person who loves dogs, we might have problems. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway. Diversity is important, and uh, that's just a little bit about me. Um, we'll be getting to know each other better over the course of the semester, but I'm going to ask, also ask you for some details about yourself um, by filling out an intake form that I'll show you the link to in just a second here. Um, what about our class? Our class um, has some details here. First of all, we are going to be meeting once a week online using Zoom. Um, so those meetings will be weekly on Tuesdays, and then there, uh, there is going to be um, a recurring meeting that I'm going to ask you to join via Zoom. So we are having a synchronous class discussion of the material. Um, Tuesdays 10 to 11, 15 a.m., so you should make sure to clear that time in your schedule for that discussion. And then there is also every week an asynchronous module that I'm going to ask you to work through um, the bulk of that work should be happening Wednesday through Thursday with most major assignments due Sunday evening. So you'll notice we'll get into a bit of a rhythm where we talk as a group and then you do some reading and writing on your own and then by the end of the week, Sunday evening, you'll have submitted some thoughts about the week to me. Um, and I'll, I'll walk you through the details of that assignment um, before anything is due. So that makes our first class meeting Tuesday, September 1st at 10 a.m. So please be prepared to meet at that time. Um, I will be emailing you some instructions about how to get ready for that meeting and how you're going to be joining it. Like I said, there will be a Zoom link that I'll send to you. You'll get an email notification about that. Um, so don't stress out too much about that just yet. And lastly, I do reserve time in my week, every week, to talk to students, um, just kind of open time for you to chat with me about anything that might be coming up for you. So this semester, that time is Wednesday 9 to noon every week. If that block does not work for you, you can certainly always make an appointment with me. Just let me know, and we will set up something via Zoom or phone or in some other modality. A bit about what we're going to be doing. Um, this class is a historical perspectives class, meaning that we will be thinking about LGBTQ history specifically as it's practiced and as it's constructed. Um, but also topically, right, we're going to be looking at the intersection of race, class, gender, religion, ability, and nation within that history, um, and particularly the history of LGBTQ community and then the major forms of activism that have arisen from these different periods in history. Um, secondarily, we'll be looking at major terms and concepts. Um, that's kind of right out of the gate, something we're gonna be working on. Um, three, we're gonna describe how historical knowledge of those communities and cultures is created and interpreted. So what makes queer history different from normative history and what are some of the methods and skills we need to develop and use in order to engage with LGBTQ history versus um, more dominant types of histories. Four, um, assess representations and interpretations of those cultures and subcultures. Um, we're going to be looking at a lot of media in this class, um, so we're we'll doing a lot of thinking about representation. And five, demonstrate historical knowledge uh, through the examination of social, political, scientific, and legal knowledge of LGBTQ bodies, communities, and cultures. So again, this is an interdisciplinary class, so we're going to be looking a little bit at 
um, science, a little bit at politics, a little bit at art, a little bit at um, sociology. You know, we're going to be looking at a lot of different um, disciplines to try to understand the complexity of LGBTQ history and life. Um, so that's kind of what you can expect in the class. I want to take you over to um, our Blackboard site really quickly. So I'm just going to start you off um, on the Grand Valley State University webpage because some of you might not be familiar with Blackboard. And one quick way to get to Blackboard is just to click into this BB here, Blackboard. That will That's a direct link to Blackboard. You'll get a prompt to sign in and then you will see your courses. And our section of 224 is this section 01, WGS 224-01. So if you click in there, you will see that I've built um, our course into Blackboard. And um, I'm going to turn on student preview so we get exactly how it's going to look for you. So basically, what I'm going to ask you to do is kind of work your way through these tabs. The first one is start here. And this is something you're going to be needing to do um, right away is to take a look at this information. So I mentioned there's going to be an intake form. I'm going to ask you to complete this before the first day of class. This is just a form gathering a bit more information about you, um, how you'd like to be referred to in class, what kinds of resources you have access to wherever you're staying right now. Um, so this will really help me get a sense of who's in the course and some key information to, to help start building that relationship that we want to have. Um, because, you know, online courses are, take a little bit more work to get to know people in. So please do complete that as part of your homework. Um, there's a bit about me here. Um, and then instructions for adding Zoom and Slack. We are definitely going to be using some external applications, not just Blackboard in this class. Zoom is one of those. Uh, if you haven't yet get, gotten started with GVSU Zoom for students, um, I would definitely set that up right away because we're going to be relying on Zoom um, if it continues to function um, for our uh, live synchronous meetings. And then I also, with online courses, like to use Slack. Um, Slack is a direct messaging app. It's going to allow us to create a workspace where all the class participants can directly chat each other. And it's just a lot easier than constantly using email. Um, and so I will be sending you a link to join our workspace on a Slack enabled device. Uh, that's usually iPhone or smartphone of some kind. Um, so you don't need to use Slack. It's just one way in which we try to make the class a little bit more streamlined. Um, so outside of the start here tab, we have announcements, which is where um, all of the things I place for you to review will be. You will also get automatic emails whenever I do that. Um, Zoom links to join our meeting sessions will be um, right underneath this menu in the announcements area. And then um, in syllabus and course uh, schedule, we have our course syllabus, which I would also ask you to review before we meet the first time. Um, you can see that this document has a lot of information in it. It's been very carefully prepared to answer a lot of your questions. So please do take a look at it um, and give yourself some time to work through it. Um, you'll see that there are no required texts in this course. I'm making all the material available to you for free on Blackboard. Um, so do not worry about that. All material will be provided. Um, we'll see some you know, uh, objectives here, notes on the materials, office hours, policies that are in place in this class, which are very important to review. Um, and then we will be going over assignments and requirements on the first day. So I'll let you read about those. And then if you have questions, you can ask. And some details about those assignments and directions for completing them, and then the course schedule. So you can see that this is structured um, to flow very nicely depending on what date we're meeting. You should have completed the things listed by the time we meet, right? So you can see for the first day, there are two readings that you should have done by the time we meet on 10 at 10 o'clock a.m. on the 1st. And then for the rest of the week, I have Thursday here. It's really kind of on your own time. You should have completed the rest of this stuff. And then we start week two. So that flows pretty nicely, but it is at the bottom of that document. So instead of making you scroll all the time, I've also loaded the course schedule right here. So this is where you should be going to see what's due next. Um, it's like a compressed version of the course. 
Now, where do you go to find the stuff that's assigned? Um, you actually click over to modules and materials. So here you'll notice that each area of the syllabus, each week of the syllabus has its own folder in order. So let's say, where do I find material for the first day? I'm gonna click into week one, conceptual foundations, and then I'm gonna look for the date of the class meeting, which is the 1st of September. And I know it's a synchronous session where we're meeting together. Um, and I'm gonna click in here and look, here's the stuff I'm asking you to look through. So along with the syllabus and the intake form, I'm asking you to review this glossary of terms and to quickly look over these two readings. Um, so this should be completed by the time we meet. Um, when you go back to week one, you'll see for the asynchronous module to complete on your own time, there's already material here matching the syllabus. Um, so this is where you're gonna go for all the readings and materials, these folders. And there's one for every single week in the class all the way down to week 16. Okay. Um, there will be an assignments tab here once I've loaded assignment instructions into Blackboard. There is a re an ongoing reading journal I'm gonna ask you to be working on. Um, this is not up and running yet because we haven't completed any of these, so don't worry about that. Email, you can email me directly by clicking all instructor users. That's me. Um, and help is I think fairly useful if you're not familiar with Blackboard and have a question and aren't quite sure how a basic Blackboard function works. Um, you can certainly also ask me, but there is material here to support you in terms of getting familiar with the space. Um, so that's about it. And I will be emailing you all to um, get you into this course and get you set up. And uh, we will be talking together on the first. So until then, be well, and I'm looking forward to meeting you.